By the end of this year, all major cellular companies plan to shut down their 3G networks to make way for the much faster 5G cell phone network. It is a sweeping change that will impact not only older cell phones that use 3G, but other technology as well, from security systems to emergency medical alert devices. CBS 8's Richard Allen has more on what you need to do now to prepare. Well, that's right. The FCC says it's been working since 2019 to educate the public about this impending 3G phase out, but it still appears to have caught some of us off guard. But I haven't seen something this impactful before. Um, it's a big change. Tony Heipel is owner of iTech iPhone and MacBook Repair in Claremont. Ordinarily, he's a big believer in keeping and maintaining older forms of technology. And there's no need to throw stuff away just because something new came out. You can use it for like 10 more years. Except when it comes to the ongoing rollout of 5G, the latest advance in cellular technology, promising far faster broadband speeds. It's going to be amazing. The future is here. A future that will not include 3G service. You U.S. cellular companies are shutting down 3G this year to make room for the updated technology, which means that devices that use 3G will effectively become obsolete. They're going to have to upgrade to something similar, but with more current technology. Not only will 3G cell phones not operate on the 5G system, even for emergency 911 calls, but this phase-out will also impact some car GPS navigation programs, home security systems, and even some emergency medical alert devices used by older Americans. The level of gravity is, is very high for us. Tech expert Tom Camber is with AARP. He says many Americans are unaware and not prepared for the wave of 3G devices that will soon lose connectivity. Devices like medical alert bands or pendants that millions of seniors and their families rely on. Older Americans are most at risk from this transition because, first of all, they're the group that tends to hold on to devices a little bit longer. Now is the time to examine whether some changes will need to be made. The first thing we want them to think about is just this is a moment to take an hour and just do a check through of what kind of connectivity you have in your house that is mobile based. And if you're not sure if you'll be impacted, contact your service provider. In many cases, those providers are now reaching out to their customers to let them know whether they'll need to upgrade their devices.